Just want to do a quick video this week on windshield wiper fluid. So as you know with a Tesla, there's very few things you have to do. Um, there's tires that you have to rotate, eventually replace, brakes that eventually you have to replace, but if you use regen braking, not very often, and windshield wiper fluid. That's about it. Well, battery. Maybe eventually the battery, the 12 volt battery. But we rented a car from Hertz, a Tesla, and I have a video coming on how we did that. But when we picked it up, there were two things wrong with the car. One, it only had 20% state of charge, which wasn't great. And two, the windshield wiper fluid didn't work. So Hertz really failed. The two things that you really need to do with a Tesla, they didn't do right. But I found out what happened with the windshield wiper fluid and why it was empty. And I wanted to show you that. So what happens if you have a problem with your windshield wiper fluid and how it works? So let's get into it. Well, I want to film this fast. That looks nasty out there. I think it's heading this way. So when we rented the car from Hertz, um, we tried using the windshield wipers. Actually, I didn't really try it till we got to the coast because of salt spray on the car and um, not being able to clean it. I tried using the windshield wiper. It didn't work. And the, the, the wipers worked, but no fluid came out. So I went ahead and opened up the <laughs> windshield wiper fluid reserve. I bought some windshield wiper fluid. I filled that up and it still didn't work. And I'm like, why is it not working? In the car, I could see that there was like some fluid right down here, just a little tiny bit of fluid, not much, but nothing was coming out the actual windshield wipers, little ports there, it squirt the fluid out and nothing was coming out. So I said to myself, what are you gonna do? I know there's fluid in there. I filled the, resort, the reservoir up, it's full, but nothing's working. So this is what I did. There was fluid up in this area. There was something wrong in here. And you can see there's the lines that are coming up for the windshield wipers for the fluid. So what I did is I popped open this part here. I just kind of grabbed it, popped it open. It comes off pretty easy. Now you can see a whole bunch of stuff in there. Here's the air intake, there's the 12 volt battery. And right here is where the problem was. The fluid was coming up to here, but this was actually unplugged. It wasn't plugged into here. It looked like that. So I wasn't getting any fluid. The fluid was squirting off all in here. So all I had to do was plug it in and voila, we had windshield wiper fluid again. It was that easy. If you ever have a problem where your windshield wiper fluid is not working, that may be the issue. If you fill up the reservoir and you still don't have a windshield wiper fluid, that could be it. And I don't know if that was something that when Hertz got it delivered, nobody noticed. The person who used it before me, it only had 3000 miles. People before me must have tried to squirt the fluid and nothing came out and they probably didn't figure out why, but I knew you could pop that off. So I popped it off, checked it out and that was it. So anyway, quick video just to kind of tell you something that I ran into. So if you ever had that problem, you know what to do. Video coming on renting from Hertz, what the process was like. Um, worked out pretty good other than the fact that that didn't work and the car wasn't charged, but I'll get into that in another video. So Anyway, I hope you like this video. I'm gonna go in the house before it starts raining or hailing. So if you did, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. By the way, putting it back on is easy. All you do is lay it back on the way it looks it should be. Push lightly, all the little clips clip in, and you're done. So that's how to put it back on.